uh, welcome to the Exothis Kenya. On this week's video, we are going to learn how to frame our shots. And now, basically, framing involves how you place your subject or how you arrange uh, the various elements uh, that you want to display when you're taking a photo or taking videos so that it's not just aesthetically pleasing, but it also tells a better story. Uh, do you ever sometimes take photos and you feel like it's not appearing the way you wanted it to or people are paying attention to the things that you didn't want them to notice maybe you wanted to be uh, the focal point you wanted them to notice an outfit or jewelry or something and instead they're looking at other things like uh, say the photos in the, in the background or seats or something and it can be very annoying so I'm going to just teach you a few tips on how you can frame your shots so that you take beautiful photos and videos okay so number one the we have a rule in uh, videography and photography called the rule of thirds so basically it's uh when you're using a camera you find uh that when there are times you, you you're using it and there are these grids that appear like on the screen is what you can look at right now and because when you're using a phone for instance you don't have that luxury um you can just imagine that there are these lines exist on your screen and the idea is to have the subject or your focal point appearing at, and uh, where the lines meet at this point okay and so that way people will be naturally drawn to look at the subject at what you want them to focus on okay so that is the rule of that however rules were made to be broken oh sorry yes before i go there okay so now the rule of that is usually used uh in um, uh, interviews like when we're doing interviews usually we, we always use the rule of thirds and the reason that we do this is because we want people to pay attention and focus on the person that's talking and listen to what they're saying so that's where we normally use the rule of thirds so the other thing that you need to consider when framing your shots other than what you want people to focus on is your surrounding one of the things that makes a, a photo beautiful is the background. For instance, where I'm standing right now, so there's a couch, it has nice pillows, there's a window behind me, curtains, then there's uh, photos on the wall, uh, there's a bracket light which can't be fully seen because for framing my shots, you have to also consider how the distance between up where the uh, shot begins and where the subject uh, starts. So think about that when you're framing your shot and think about what else is around you that would you like to showcase? It could be a beautiful space. You could be outside and you're taking a photo and maybe uh, you're at a park and there are animals behind you or uh, you are at a pool. You are, um, say, when people go to, uh, to the beach, for instance, and you want people to see the beautiful sea and the waves. So those are some of the things that you consider when you're framing your shot. So always think about it. So for instance, when you look at the, this, this video, there's this uh, tower and there's this light light tower and you want to focus on it but you also don't want to deny people to see the beautiful surroundings uh, or the, uh, of where it's positioned and also give people an idea of where it is so instead of just doing using the lower third rule and focusing on it alone you also take you, you show it but you also take a little bit more of where it is and what's happening around it and that makes it more aesthetically pleasing fantastic the other thing that you need to consider when framing your photos is what we call the headroom the headroom is the space between where the shot starts and where the subject begins so for instance look at me so this is me right now let's change this shot so that you see how that would affect how I appear on camera so changing this shot and um, increasing the headroom and by the way I'm tiptoeing <laughs> makes it uh, me not the fo focus of this video right now because it's like i'm just th there's more attention to what's happening behind me the photos uh the cuttings everything except me it's like i'm screaming for attention <laughs> so that's one why you should always consider the headroom and make sure that you place it correctly so this right here is perfect this is ideal headroom because now I am the center of attention. Great, fantastic. So the other things that you, you need to consider when taking a photo or video is something that we call foreground. Um, 
because there are times when you take a photo and the subject is so far behind people are seeing so many like either empty space or so many other things happening in front like between where the subject is the focal point is and where everything else is happening so that's the other thing so you don't want your picture looking anything like this instead you want to adjust it so that it looks something like this great fantastic so those are a few things and then also feel free to have fun play around but don't forget that when we do videography and when we do photography we always have a story to share so good luck as you take your photos now you know how to frame your photos and you should be able to take beautiful visually appealing photos that tell the story that you want to tell thank you so much for watching until next week bye Harry.